Hi, my name is Arno and welcome to Gunsight TV. Yes, Gunsight South Africa is hosting the first interactive TV program where you, the viewer, can have first-hand experience on tactical products, training and firearms accessories. In today's episode, we will take a closer look at the original SWAT footwear, the Bobster interchangeable shooting glasses, the Frontline BFL holster and the Roni Carbine Conversion Kit. We hope you enjoy the show. Today we have on display two boots from original SWAT footwear. One is the WinX side zip tactical boot and the other one will be the Coyote boot. Now both these boots can be used for serious tactical use, casual wear, on the shooting range or for farming. Uh, both these boots are available from SWAT G or you can inquire at your local retailer and they can get in contact with us to purchase any of these boots. Wonderful boots that comes from the States. They are excellent and very durable and comfortable. We have a wide variety of eyewear available from Bobster. From shooting glasses to casual glasses. And what makes these products very unique are the multiple ways that you can use and carry these glasses. Most of them have got three interchangeable lenses and some of them have got different inserts all depending on the windy conditions that you might face. Now they are not only for shooting, as you can see some of them are very fashionable and very hard wearing. This, this one for instance is the Raptor 2, it's also got the strap at the back so you, you don't lose your glasses. Very nice and affordable eyewear uh, that can be used in any, any scenario, whether it be shooting, tactical, working environment or bike riding. The glasses that you will be seeing me wearing today will be the shooting safety glasses. They also come with Three interchangeable lenses, smoke, clear and amber. What I really enjoy about these glasses, especially when we do carbine work, where you have an optic sight where you have to put your head down a little bit to get onto the sight, you don't have interference from the frame to the sight and your eyes. So they will work well. Now guys, remember, eyewear is compulsory when shooting and good eyewear is available through Swaji. Hi, and welcome to the Roni Carbine Conversion System. Gun! Moving! Let us quickly look at one of the advantages the Roni system have by having an ambidextrous cocking lever. If I tilt the gun to this side, you will see that you've got a cocking lever on the right hand side as well as a cocking lever on the left hand side. Now many people might ask why is this an advantage especially some competition shooters but we are going to move out of the whole competition idea and show you in a, in a real tactical environment why this ambidextrous cocking lever is advantageous on a system like this. Let's assume for a second that your offhand is down and you are wounded and you only have one arm and hand left to manipulate the Roni system. Now, and let us say you have a stoppage on this firearm or a light strike or something goes wrong. We will show this to you slowly and we're not going to do anything by speed. But basically, offhand is down. So now you have to manipulate this system with the one hand. So you go out and click. You have that dreaded click. If you have cover available, obviously, move back into the cover. Short, simple movements. First thing, remember, tap the magazine. Tap the magazine, drop the system down, take the cocking lever, which is now on your right hand side, cock it, short movement back to the shoulder, come out, fire, fire the shot, scan and assess. Let us take a look at that same action, just from another angle slowly and by the numbers so that you can see what's happening. This hand has been down, so you come out, acquire the target, safety off, nothing happens. Get back into cover, tap the magazine, grip the gun firmly, rack it, bring the gun back out, come out, and fire the shot. You will notice, sometimes it doesn't go perfect, sometimes it goes a little bit further, the further it goes between the legs, the more difficult it will be for you to get a proper grip. 
preferably it will be there so you can <laughs> and then get a good grip but if you don't not a problem you just adjust your grip come back in in the shoulder and take the shot <laughs> 